Hi guys, update 1.34 gave us a long-awaited feature. We can now buy every available engine swap at GT Auto, so we don't have to wait until we got some luck at the roulette tickets. Over the past two days I did a lot of testing to provide you with my top 10 must-have engine swaps you should buy in GT7. This list is based on my personal opinion. Write a comment and tell me what's your favorite engine swap in Gran Turismo 7. I will start my list with the Alfa Romeo 4C and the Ferrari 458 engine. Without any further engine upgrades, this car is a lot of fun to drive. You get some good downforce and good handling through the corners. And with the new engine, this Alfa sounds just beautiful. Definitely one engine you should consider buying. Next one is the Nissan Silvia QS13 with the LS7 BRZ drift car engine. Maxing out at over 1200 horsepower and less than 1000 kg, this car is the ultimate sleeper. Able to do over 500 km per hour and fast enough to make a Bugatti Veyron look like it's standing still. Downside, going through corners is absolutely impossible. Number 8 is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo with the Suzuki Escudo engine swap. Putting a 1000 horsepower engine into a Lancer Evo sounds mad, but this thing is surprisingly controllable. Thanks to its four-wheel drive, you can also use this car with sports tires. Number 7 is an absolute must have, because who doesn't want a 450 horsepower and 300 km per hour Samba bus going on the Nordschleife. Number 6 is what happens when you put a Hellcat Charger engine into a 1945 Willys Jeep. Fully tuned, this turns your Safari car into a 950 horsepower monster. Not easy to handle, but fast enough to outpace a Group 1 car in a straight line. Number 5 is another really old car going crazy with a fresh engine. It's the Voodoo 5.2 liter engine in a 1932 Ford Roadster. Fully tuned, this gives you an 800 horsepower death machine, which can do 6 minute 40 lap times on the Nordschleife.
Number four is the LS7 Rampage engine. Or let's call it the flux capacitor, because this thing will accelerate your DeLorean back to the future. Number 3 isn't cheap, but if you pay 1.3 million, you get a Ferrari F40 that can battle some Bugatti Chiron. And it's not only the 500 km per hour top speed, it's also this awesome sound of the Ferrari Enzo engine. Second place goes to my favorite sounding engine in Gran Turismo 7, the Mazda 787 rotary engine. So just enjoy. And the number one spot for the best engine swap in Gran Turismo 7 goes to the Suzuki Cappuccino with the RX-7 engine. As shown in a previous video, this engine turns the Suzuki Cappuccino into the ultimate money machine. This car becomes completely overpowered in the 600 performance points class on Tokyo and easily destroys the whole competition. So apart from most of the other engine swaps which aren't really useful, this one is a good investment to make back all the money for your other swaps. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button on my channel, so you'll get a notification for all my future uploads.